everyone. What I got here today is a seven in one solar panel cable for all types of portable power stations. It has the industry standard MC4 connectors on one side of the cable to connect to your solar panel. And on the other end, we have the XT60 connector, the DC8020 connector, DC7909, DC6530, DC5521, DC35135 barrel connectors, and we have a free assembly Anderson connector. Now the free assembly means that it can be reorganized to fit different configurations of the connector. Now, I do have one complaint about the Anderson connectors, and that is the thickness of the wire gauge inside and the length of the exposed inner wires. Now the length is not quite enough to cross over to reorganize it to fit the opposite configuration. So you will need to cut the thick sleeve a little bit in order to make it work. However, it is rated for up to 20 amps of current and the voltage is rated for up to 1000 volt DC. And the wire gauge is said to be 14 to 16 AWG. It is IP65 waterproof and the total length is 1.1 meters or 3.6 feet. So most all of the solar panels will come with the MC4 connectors. So simply connect the seven in one connector cable and use one of the seven connectors and match it up to your power station. So here I have a few power stations with different types of solar input connector ports. So the Ruko power station has the Anderson connector port and the DC7909 solar input ports. So you can use either one. And this cable has both of those connectors. Now the Flashfish also has the Anderson port and it also has a 5521 port for solar input. And this connector cable has both of those. And the Agrotech has only the 5521 port for the solar input. And here I have the Renogy solar panels here for the demonstration. We have the 100 watt solar panel and the 50 watt solar panel, both of which has the MC4 connectors. So connect it to the solar panel of your choice and simply choose the connector for the particular power station. So it is a very simple process to charge up these power stations since they all have a built-in charge controller. So nothing else is needed. So all you need is one of these multi-connector cables, a solar panel with the MC4 connectors, and a power station with solar input ports that will match one of these seven connectors to enjoy free power. Now, just make sure the voltage of the solar panels does not exceed the solar input voltage of the power station and you will be good to go. So that will do it for this video of the Nessus PAL's 7-in-1 connector cable for solar panel and portable power station. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.